Good evening and welcome to Bahrain Today. We cover various topics, latest news, and the events of the kingdom. This is Mohammed Al Sarraj, and this is Bahrain Today. A Bahraini in Hollywood. Now that's a topic I would like to know more about. Mohammed Isa is an award-winning speaker and an, Amazon, an Amazon's best-selling author. Not to mention his 20 years of experience in different industries. Mohammed Isa has published nine books so far, three of which are Amazon's bestsellers. Let's take a look at this report. Award-winning writer and inspiring speaker Mohammed Isa believes in getting out of your comfort zone in order to achieve success. He followed his passion for speaking, writing and traveling as he coaches and leads panels to motivate executives and their teams in gaining profit and increasing their sales. Thriving to inspire others and passing on his knowledge, Mohammed Isa left his senior position and followed his dreams until he was recognized worldwide for his successful publications and motivational speeches. There is no stop line when it comes to success. Mohammed Isa represents how every believer is an achiever. Welcome back. That was a very interesting report. With us is Hamad Isa in the studio. Hamad, how are you, sir? I'm very good. <laughs> I'm very good. I'm very thrilled to meet you, man. <laughs> Me too. I'm very Me thrilled. Too. How's it going? Very good. It's going great. <laughs> How's your day? Fantastic, as always. <laughs> <laughs> good to hear. Man, if I knew you were, were, you were wearing a suit and tie, I would have done the same. Oh, That's know. not fair. You should have told me. You know, you should, you, should, you should tell my wife now. She made me wear this. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, Mohammed. So uh, you, you've published nine books. And uh, tell me a little bit about that and what influenced you to uh, start writing, to uh, okay. being an author to begin with. And Excellent. Uh, I always ra uh, liked writing because um, I had a teacher who inspired me since a young age. Her name is Tarfa Abdurrahman. Tarfa Abdurrahman. Yeah. And she always made us write and since then I was hooked to writing and I kept writing until uh, I graduated from university I kept writing for the company newsletter all right and that, that's the story okay amazing and that was a start yes. so you've been writing since uh, how long now <laughs> Yeah. You can say th 31 years. Oh, yeah, wow, 31 mashallah. years. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. And your first book was? Was uh, a review of investor relations in okay. Bahrain. It was a very technical book. I was, right. I was a chief financial officer of an investment okay. bank. And I wrote about something that was not really existing in Bahrain. So right. I, I, I can uh, humbly say that I was one of the triggers to make uh, listed companies in Bahrain right. do more work on investor relations. Hats very off. technical, <laughs> very Hats technical. Off. Yeah. So, and, and, and the reason I, I wrote that book uh -huh. is uh, I was challenged by someone right. to write about it. Nice. So, and I love challenge. Impressive. Uh, tell me a little bit about your, uh, y you have some experience in public speaking, I believe. Yes. 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 Tell me about that, please. I've been speaking for the last 20 years, I would say, okay. uh, to different audiences. But uh, four years ago, I decided to go full-time professional. All right. So I spoke in uh, many countries to many co companies and clients. Mm -hmm. And in 2017, uh -huh. I was very happy to speak to Google staff in California. MashaAllah. Yeah. Was that when you went uh, to Hollywood and got the, pri the exactly. prize as well? Exactly. All right. Exactly. So, <laughs> so the way it's so happened. So tell me about the award. Yes. And the then tell me about the so experience so in Google. So I, I received the Quilly Award from the National Academy of Bestselling Authors. Okay. In, uh, Quality Award. Yeah. Well, the Quilly Award. Quilly. Yeah. Okay. Well, what, what's that? Excuse uh, my. Uh, uh, there is an academy called the National Spe the National Academy for Bestselling Authors. Basically, mm -hmm. this academy rewards those people who hit the Amazon best-selling list. All right. So I, I have a book 
call the success blueprint. Unfortunately, success. it's out of print. Okay. I didn't bring it. <laughs> it's that successful. Yeah, that's okay. successful. <laughs> so it speaks for itself. Yeah, I got the award mm -hmm. and uh, someone from Google saw that I was coming to California. All right. So he approached me and said, why don't you come and speak to our team? Amazing. And uh, Google Plex. And I thought, why not? Of course. And I went to, and I spoke to Google Play, uh, Google uh, Google staff. It was an amazing experience. I wrote about I it bet. in yeah. social media because uh -huh. we all seen videos about Google and how they do yes. things. It's different, different when you see it with your own eyes. It, not not only different. It's different, different. Yeah, very <laughs> different. Yeah. So a Bahraini, right. who was born in Muharraq, to go all the way to. California and speak right. to Google, that, so, that was So big. would you say public speaking is a part of your success? Of course. And how, how why? Of course, yeah. imagine this. If you're a, a top-notch engineer, mm -hmm. you, you have the best ideas. Best ideas, yeah. But you don't know how to convey them. You don't know how to influence the yeah. team around you. Yeah. It's like you're, you're having no knowledge. So without public speaking, you cannot succeed. If you, if, if you Look back in history and see the top performing CEOs. They are all good speakers. speakers. Definitely. One I of them is? Uh, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've read a whole book about yeah. him. Yeah. He's, a He's amazing. He's very interesting And uh, until character. today, And until today, people still repeat his catch line Definitely. from the Stanford commencement speech. Yeah. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Stay hungry, stay yeah. foolish. I agree. Um, can you show me? Um, uh, your favorite book out of these five? <laughs> okay, my favorite book is uh, something that I want to show. This Start is on startups. on startups. As you know, now Bahrain wants to position itself as the best startups ecosystem in the yes. Gulf. Yes. The EDB, Tamkeen, mm -hmm. BDB, they are all pushing for Correct. people to start their own businesses. Yes. And what we thought is, why don't we create a book mm -hmm. on on startups. Okay. So this book was written in six months. Mm -hmm. Now, six months is too fast for such a book because we have 84,000 words in this book, mm -hmm. which means four dissertations. Right. Four MBA dissertations. Correct. And we have 42 authors. 42 authors. I knew, uh, 40 I knew chapters, a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, and most of them were not published before. Right. So the, the whole idea is if you start a business, you read this book to avoid mistakes, right. to learn tricks. So this is what you're trying to convey, yes. basically. Yes, exactly. To be successful. To be Again, successful. Again, we're back to success. Yes, exactly. Because one of the chapters in the book is called the top 20 mistakes of... Top 20 mistakes. Entrepreneurs. Wow. So if I were an entre <laughs> int aspiring entrepreneur going okay, to right. launch a business, yeah. I can come to this book, read about these mistakes, and try to avoid them. I also have a legal advisor. Mm -hmm. He talked about the top 10 legal mistakes of top entrepreneurs. 10. Wow. So it's you Zuhair. Have, yeah, Zuhair. I saw his yeah? photo. So we have I'm people great. talking <laughs> about crowdfunding, yeah. intellectual property, intellectual property, customer experience, branding. Oh. All what you need. That's impressive. To start a business. So, um, if you would uh, give advice to uh, somebody uh, to pursue writing, what would you tell them? Start small. Start small. Start small. How small is small? Uh, Define small because you're too big for, for us yes. small people. Uh, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. It's, it's very simple. Uh, for example, l let me give you a demonstration of, mm -hmm. of uh, what, what do I mean with start small. Yes. I'm planning to write a book called Walking on Thin Ice. Okay. It's a travel book. Ah. I would document my travel. All right. So now I have an Instagram account. It's called Nomad973. Nomad973. Uh, okay. It's where I document my experiences. Now, 973 is Bahrain yeah, code and yeah. Nomad being? A traveler. A traveler. Yeah. So when I want to write a book, I go back to my Instagram account. Right. And it's like my cheat sheet. Oh, yeah. yeah? Okay, makes sense. So I can just It's expand. your journey throughout. Yes. yes. So that, I'm gonna that's add the you way. On Instagram. Okay. That's the <laughs> way I do it. So you start small. Uh, let's say you're a, you're a coach. Yes. Now we have so many life coaches in Bahrain. Correct. And you want to start r to write a book. Mm -hmm. So you would tweet a series of tweets oh, yeah. about coaching. Right. And then you take the tweets and expand them and make them chapters. That's yeah. what I mean with start small. 
amazing. Yeah. And what would be, uh, are you uh, currently uh, writing a book? I'm writing so many okay. books. <laughs> so yeah. what, what is your, let's say, what's your latest release or will be released? The will be released is a very exciting book that's very close to my heart because I've oh. been working on this subject since 2005. Okay. I was a line producer and an actor in a documentary film called Models of Success, where we showcase successful women. And now the book that we're, we're working on now is called Women on Success. Yeah. Where I'm showcasing successful women to inspire the next generation of women to be successful and empowered right. in this kind Amazing. of environment. That's yeah. impressive. That's impressive. And I'm sure your wife loves you for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <You're> <laughs> In fact, my daughter Dana, she's uh -huh. only 13. Mashallah. And I pushed her to write a chapter in the book. Okay. Of oh. course, we cannot consider her as someone who did so many things in her life because she's only 13. But the whole idea is empowerment. Definitely. And she's 13 and she joins the book. That's amazing. And I told her to uh, write a, a chapter called My Dreams. Oh man, so it was <laughs> too beautiful. much thinking for her. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you're a great father, you're I hope a great so. husband. I hope so. You're, great <laughs> you're a great speaker, and I'm looking forward to uh, read one of your books, definitely. Well, <laughs> uh, if, if you want to read one book to start with, you, yeah. you read the Chai Karak. Chai Karak? Yeah, it's, it's not about Karak. Karak. It's small, it's beautiful. It's a, it's, it's a small book, it's called Chai Karak, uh -huh. A Customer Service Story. Okay, yeah? cool. So it's a, it's a nice story uh, and many people ask me, why do we need to have another book on customer service? You Make know, this fun. has a local, <laughs> yeah. a local flavor uh -huh. and I'm using Chai Karak as an analogy. Oh yeah, and great. There are so many things that you can use in the book. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? I understand. So Chai Karak is basically an acronym for right. uh, the fundamentals of customer service. Fundamentals, yeah, yeah. So C, for example, is communicate with your customer. Yeah, okay. H is honor your promises. Oh, yeah. So on and on. Okay, amazing. Well, Mohammed, unfortunately, uh, our meeting comes to an end. I told you I was so thrilled and now I'm not so happy that you're, you're leaving. I want to have coffee with you one day, hopefully. No, Chai Karak. <laughs> Chai Karak yeah, with Chai you Karak. one day. I'm going to discuss one of your books. Thank you very much, Mr. Mohammed. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you so much. You have a great one. You too. Dear viewers, we will take a short break and come back with more segments. <laughs>